Welcome to the course. My name is Francesco Schiavon, and I have been a Mac user since around the days of a Mac LC. In fact, my first Mac was a Mac LC too. Since then, I've been learning and learning how to use the Mac. And in the past few years, I've also been training and teaching people how to use the Mac. In this course, we're going to be exploring some of the new features that Apple has included in OS X Mavericks, also known as OS X 10.9. In this course, I'm going to assume that you already have some basic experience of using your Mac. If you don't, please do check some of the other courses that are more introductory. Rather, in this course, we're going to be focusing on some of the new features, things like tabs, as you can see here on my screen. Another one are tags, where you can take your files and add metadata so that you can find them much easier. Other improvements that have been done to things like the notification center. Some of the features that are completely brand new, things like the maps application, where you can go into an area and literally fly through the area using your trackpad or using your mouse. In this case, what you're seeing on the screen is downtown Seattle. Other improvements that we're going to be covering, which are not completely new, but there are definitely improvements, are to things like the calendar, where you get a new interface, which is much easier to use and also much easier to read. Later in the course, we're going to be talking about some of the new power management features, which are going to be very, very important for those of you that are on laptops, things like MacBook or a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air, because your battery life will be extended using the new power management features in the OS. If you have more than one display, or if you're interested in having more than one display, you are going to be interested in taking a look at some of the videos that I have on multiple displays. One of the great features that has been added to Mavericks is the way it now behaves when you have an Apple TV on the same network as your Mac. You can use the Apple TV, or for that matter, a TV plugged into an Apple TV as an extended desktop to your Mac. And at the end of the course, we're going to be covering a feature called iCloud Keychain, which allows you to take your passwords and your uh, security credentials and save them in iCloud. This means that you can synchronize these credentials and these passwords across multiple devices, including multiple Macintoshes and multiple iOS devices, as long as they are using the same iCloud account. So let me finish this introduction and let's dive right into tags.